Hello, my name is Caroline, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to print from your Raspberry Pi 4 to your network printer. And here is a quick demo of me printing from my Raspberry Pi 4. Hit print. Let's see if this works. And I can hear my printer turning on. And that's it. That's printing from your Raspberry Pi 4. I'm going to show you a complete start to finish install process of how I was able to get my Raspberry Pi 4 to print my PDF document. Now let's get started. First of all, why are we doing this? I was super excited when the Raspberry Pi 4 was released as a possible desktop replacement. I actually bought two when they first came out. I bought a one gigabyte RAM version and a four gigabyte RAM version. Now, have I actually tried to use it as a desktop computer? Honestly, no, because mostly I create Word documents and PowerPoint presentations and cut videos for YouTube but I could see how someone could use it as a web browsing light computing machine, especially if they're mostly writing code and trying it out. Now, I will admit that my Raspberry Pi 4 does get quite warm and I actually found a solution to cool it down with this USB fan. I created a tutorial in a previous video where I attached a temperature controlled fan. I'll link to it below if you're interested. The next limitation in using the Raspberry Pi 4 as a desktop computer is that you might need to print something from it. Now, I know we're going green these days and limiting our paper usage, but I find every once in a while I'll have to print. For example, I'll buy a ticket to an event and they'll require that I bring a printed ticket instead of just my smartphone. I'll be using something called CUPS an open source printing system developed by Apple for Mac OS and other Unix-like operating systems. CUPS uses the Internet Printing Protocol, IPP, to support printing to local and network printers. This video assumes that you have your Raspberry Pi 3 or Raspberry Pi 4 running the latest version of the Raspbian operating system. If you haven't already set up your Raspberry Pi, I'll link to my video below where I set up a fresh copy of the Raspbian operating system with my Raspberry Pi 4. Here's my Raspbian default desktop. First, I'll open a web browser and I'm following along on a How to Geek article on how to add a printer to my Raspberry Pi 4. And I'll first start by installing CUPS. And how do I do that? Copy, right click copy, and then I'll open my terminal window and I will right click paste. So this is installing CUPS. Uh, and I do have to hit yes to continue, enter, and it will start installing CUPS. This will take a few minutes to do that. And as we are waiting for CUPS to install on our Raspberry Pi, I'm going to show you cups.org. And if you want to learn more about CUPS printing in general, uh, please feel free to go to the cups.org website. And here it is. Uh, so they have a GitHub repository and they have the different versions that you can check out here. One quick disclaimer about this printing project that we're about to do. Now, I highly doubt CUPS works with every single printer out there in the world today. If you have an old legacy printer, it might not work with that. Generally speaking, the printers I have tried with CUPS have all worked. Now, my printers I've purchased within the last few years, and they are all network printers. Most printers these days are. If not, try plugging it in via USB. And if all else fails, go to cups.org and see if you can find a list of printers that are compatible. And our cups is installing. This is gonna take a few minutes, so I'm gonna uh, take a break and be right back when it gets done. Cups has finished installing now. Our next step, going back to this article, is that we need to change the admin rights on our computer. And I will go back to my terminal, right click and paste this command and there it's done. It's really quick. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open up a new browser window and we're going to localhost colon port 631. And if you've installed CUPS correctly on your Raspberry Pi, this is what you'll see. You'll open up port 631 
and then you'll see you know overview of cups and kind of see what you've done right here and you can now add a printer adding printers and classes so we'll click on that and then we'll click on add printer and then our username is pi and our password is the password that we set up when we configured our raspbian operating system if you didn't configure a password when you set up your raspberry pi in the beginning the default password is raspberry okay i'm going to hit sign in and now it's going out on my network and looking for printers now you can simply use the usb port on your raspberry pi and then uh, hook it up to a local printer that's ab absolutely an option and if you did that it would show up right here under local printers you would see that now i've got a canon mf 7 31C. That is the kind of printer I have, and it discovered my network printer. It did that automatically. Isn't that cool? And I'm going to select that, check that radio box, and hit continue. And then you can, you know, change the name if you want to, change the description, add a location. Mine's in the office. Uh, share printer, you don't need to click that. I'm going to leave that off, and I'm going to hit continue. And then you can select your driver. So I'm going to choose IPP everywhere. That's the default option and I'm going to hit add printer and I don't want a banner I don't want to print out an extra piece of paper before or after it I'm going to set my default options and it says my default options have been set successfully okay excellent perfect so now let's give it a try and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I did uh, create a pdf uh, just or I actually I saved an old PDF from an Eventbrite ticket and I just made it really simple for me to get to for myself caroline.dunn.org forward slash sample sample PDF here I click on that and then this really old Eventbrite ticket will come up and then we'll try to print it so it says product camped Atlanta and I'm going to hit the print button and then we will generate a preview so you see what the ticket looks like I'm going to hit the drop down under save PDF I'm going to click see more and it sees my Canon printer in the office. I'm going to select that one. Pages, uh, all, pages per sheet. And then I'm going to scale default. And I'm going to hit print. And let's see what happens. And I think it's printing. And I had to run into the other room to go get my printout. But here it is. Here is my printout. It's a PDF uh, printout. And this works great if you need to print from your Raspberry Pi. The other program that I've used that works great with this under accessories, if you go to text editor and you type in this, uh, you can also print from your text editor here. Hit print. And then I'm going to choose my office. I'm going to hit print right here and it should print out another piece of paper oh there it goes all right that was pretty easy and that's how easy it is to set up printing from a local or network printer from your raspberry pi 4. thank you for watching please subscribe and i'll see you next time bye now